This is the Roll With Tay Podcast. I'm your host, Tasia, a.k.a. Tay, and this is a Tay Short, episode 24. And this is my duathlon recap. Today is August 25th, and it was duathlon day. It was my first duathlon. I did a 2.2-mile run, 10-mile bike ride, 2.2-mile run in Central Park, which is located in Manhattan, New York. Shout out to everyone who participated. We did that. We did that. Oh, man. A special shout out to Ty, my friend who came along with me. He was like, I'm doing it. He he didn't even train, but he did great. He did really good. So imagine if he trained. Woo. And Cass, who we somehow started following each other on Instagram, and she was an inspiration, for real. Like, and then when I found out, like, all right, you're doing this too. We're both doing this. Even though we didn't train together, I'd watch her videos, and she would watch my recap videos of what I've done. So, yeah, that was great. It was great meeting her in person. And the people who were cheering me on, right? Like, just people, like, people I was running with, um, my friends that came out. Shout out to Jesse, shout out to Wendy. Thank you so much. Like, I, I really appreciated it, you know? Um, they came out and watched me run. So, thank you. <laughs> you woke up early on a Sunday morning <laughs> to come out to Central Park to watch me run. And shout out to my mom because she came to watch me too, you know? Um, so, yeah. Man, where do I start? Well, wait, uh, uh. This, this nice medal I got. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Here's, here's my bib. 221. This was my first duathlon. Uh, my first New York triathlon event. That's, that's who put it on. It was great. Everyone, all the volunteers and the staff were encouraging and like hey you got this you can do it you put on a really good event i i will definitely do another one i'm not sure when but i definitely will do another one um if you go to nytry.org that's nytry.org you can find out all the events they have for the rest of the year i know of two um but I won't be able to go to, uh, I don't think either of them. But definitely check them out. Um, I got some socks. Shout out to them for the socks. This is really cool. Can't wait to wear them. Um, so yeah, the race started at 7.30. I got there about 6.20, I would say. I had to rack my bike, and after racking my bike, basically put my bike up. <laughs> they have these racks. Um, if you've ever been to any cycling event, they have them. You just put your bike on the rack. And after that, I went to registration and got my bib. Well, basically like my, my registration packet. So my bib, my uh, got my socks, uh, my helmet number, bike number, which is 221. And then the timing um, anklet, so you can track your time. Then I put my stuff on, and you know, just was waiting. I tried to get some footage. I have a GoPro. If anyone has a GoPro, you know how these batteries are. So um, I'm not sure how much I was actually able to get. Cause I'm, I'm thinking, oh, I'm getting this. And then I look down and I'm like, oh no, the screen is black and it's not coming on. It's battery is dead. And it was a full battery. But I, I think I got some stuff. So I'll try to put some something together so you can see. Because what I wanted to do is see the process, right? And, I, and I, when I was looking online um, for like duathlon or triathlon videos, basically the the, tra the transition, right? Because that that was one of my concerns. Like, how does this transition work, right? I'm 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 running first, 
Then I come back, I have to take off my shoes, put my shoes on, put my, take them off my sneakers, put my cycling shoes on, um, put my helmet on, unwreck my bike, walk my bike out. I just was, even though it sound, I'm saying it, it sounds like uh, pretty self-explanatory, but I actually wanted to see the, the process, you know? And then doing a triathlon is even you, you, you have your swimming gear on, so you have some people wear a wetsuit, so you got to take the wetsuit off. Then you got to put your um, cycling gear on. Then from your cycling gear, you got to put your running shoes on. So it's a, I just wanted to see it, and that's what I wanted to try to capture in my my video. Like, all right, here's the transition from, from this to this. And, of course, me running a little bit and cycling a little bit, but the, mostly the transitions. So, like I said... I don't know. <laughs> I haven't looked at it yet. Um, so I started this journey seven weeks ago. Tomorrow will make seven weeks. Well, it'll be the end of the seven weeks. I went to ChatGPT, said, ChatGPT, give me a workout plan. I have a duathlon. Here are my dates. Do something for me. Let me see. Right? I, 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 I put in ChatGPT. I, I, I skate. I'm of moderate fitness level. And make a plan for me. And they did. And I follow that plan, let's say, like 90, 95%. The other 5%, I did have to change a little bit because towards the end, last week, my hip started, was bothering me. Just started bothering me out of nowhere. Um, so instead of doing the light activities and workouts that they had, I rested. You know, I was like, I'm not doing anything until I felt much better. And after a couple of days, I did. Yesterday, Saturday was the first time I was back. So Tuesday, I felt good. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I didn't do anything. You know, some walking, stretching, that's it. But on Saturday, got my skates, skated around a little bit. Here in New York, we have summer streets. So summer streets are when they on every Saturday in August well actually I don't know about every Saturday because I don't know about next Saturday but for the first four Saturdays right one two three four I had to look at my calendar for the first four Saturdays they shut down the streets so for the first three it was Manhattan they shut down the streets from I believe 35th Street all the way down to the Brooklyn Bridge so, Adam Clayton Powell, then you have to turn on Park Avenue, and then Park Avenue. So, and they shut it down from 7 a.m. to 3 p.m. People come out and walk, run, cycle, skate, whatever. They enjoy the streets, and they have vendors, they have tents, things set up for people to come and participate in. And there are people giving away um some freebies as well last well yesterday the last saturday um they didn't do it in manhattan but they did it in um the bronx brooklyn i'm not sure about queens maybe queens i think i saw queens and they shut down different sections of the borough so from the bronx it was east tremont to what is that Mashula, Mashula Parkway on the Grand Concourse, if you're familiar with it. So, I was going there to volunteer with Black Girls Do Bike NYC because they had a tent there. So, I said, let me get a little workout in. Got my skates. Skated about a mile. Again, light workout just to see how my hip would feel. And it felt good. So, that was pretty much it that I did <laughs> because I didn't do anything on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. I started playing pickleball, mostly you know, right? I am talking about playing pickleball, well I got a new paddle and I wanted to go play pickleball but I said let me just take it easy. So now that this is over and my hip feels good, I'm back out there. So yeah, this morning woke up, I think I woke up about 4.30, woke up at 4.30, I wanted to have enough time to get my stuff together. Even though I got it together the night before, I want to get up, 
make some breakfast. I ate oatmeal with apple and cinnamon, had some water, headed out. I didn't want to eat a banana because a couple weeks ago when I was training, I would eat a banana and and then I would get like cramps when I was running. I'm like, what's going on? So then I switched it. Like, I'm like, well, I'm not going to eat no banana. Like, <laughs> not doing this. So I ate, I ate my banana. I took one with me. I ate it after the race was done. Um, get to Central Park. The transition location was set up at the boathouse. The boathouse is on the east side. It's so, mm, about 70... Well, the entrance into um, the park was East 72nd Street. And then you would just walk down the hill a little bit, and then the boathouse is right there. Let me tell you, I've been to Central Park. I've ridden my bike there. I, I ran in Central Park. Walked in Central Park. Never noticed that place. <laughs> so now I know where the boathouse is. House is. That's where everything was. The the start of the race, the end of the race, the transition. Uh, like I said, once I got there, did everything, 7.30 comes. 7.30, I'm super excited. Then we're off. I'm running. I'm running up Cat Hill a little bit. I'm running, I'm running. I'm like, okay, I got this. Everyone's encouraging all the participants, the people who are out there to watch the other participants. They're like, you got this, you got this. And it made me feel good. Like, yeah. And then just people in the park, running in the park because the park is not closed. We're doing this, this event with people running in the park, people cycling in the park, people walking in the park, right, up, right next to us. <laughs> The only, like, section of place was the entrance and exit to the transition. And that was, like, you know, that's where the start was. They had all the flags. And that was it. And a couple of cones. <laughs> that was it. But they had volunteers along the way to let you know, like, hey, you're turning around here or turn this way. So, shout out to them. Um, and, uh... Yeah, so I'm off. I'm feeling good. I'm like, all right, I got this. I got this. The first run, I was like, woo, all right. Once it was done, I saw my friend Wendy. Oh, like, hey, Wendy, hey, girl, hey. I'm good. Ty already left. I, he was gone. Cash, she was gone. And so <laughs> I was running by myself. And a couple of people that I was encouraging, and they were encouraging me. But other than that, as after I get back, I go get on my get on my bike, right? I change my well before I get on my bike, I take my sneakers off, put my cycling shoes on, and put my helmet on and have to walk my bike out. You can't ride it out the transition area, you have to walk it out and make sure you have your helmet on. I did that, I'm starting to go, okay. Now I'm biking up Cat Hill. I'm like, okay, cool, cool, cool. Go. Then we cut through. So they're doing some construction in Central Park. So normally, if you do the whole loop, it's like six something, six six miles and some change. But since they're doing construction, couldn't go around the whole, you know, get too crowded. So they just cut it and there's like a, like a cut through, go through the cut through. And then there's the three sisters, right? I believe that's, that's what these, like inclines are called. Golly, it's kicking my butt a little bit because now I'm starting to feel it in my legs. Like, damn, all right now. Whew, my legs are a little tired. Hey. All right, I do the first loop. I'm like, all right, damn. Now I gotta do a second loop again. Riding, riding, riding. I'm feeling it, but I'm like, you know, I, I'm just going at my own pace. I see the fast, <laughs> the fast. Runners and riders, right? Because they're passing me. I'm like, what the hell? This has to be on my first on my first loop. I'm like, this has to be his second loop. This has to be her second loop. <laughs> and it was. So after I finished my second loop, I was so happy. Like, then put my sneakers back on, gotta run again. Now I'm 
feel, I'm still feeling it in my legs like, oh, golly. And now I'm moving a little slower, running up Cat Hill. And I'm like, ah, uh, sweating. I kept going, though. Like, I said, you know what? I don't want to be last. But even if I am, I cross the finish line. <laughs> it doesn't matter. I still didn't want to be last. But in the back of my mind, I'm saying, I'm st like, I'm still crossing the finish line. I'm still getting my medal. Like, I, I still did this thing that I said I was going to do. Matter, you know, it doesn't matter if I'm last or not. So, you know, I was feeling tired, definitely slowed down. And that was my motto. Like, all right, you, you're almost there. I was saying that once I started to run, <laughs> just to give myself some motivation. <laughs> you're almost there. I mean, you know, I'm looking at all the people passing, going back because with the run, we just did a loop. I saw Ty, I saw Cass, some other people. I'm like, dang, I didn't know. <laughs> Damn. They passed me too? But it didn't matter because, you know, it was like, I'm doing this, right? I'm not in competition with anybody. But it was just like, yo, yo, Tay, you're out here. You're really doing this. You're almost done. You're almost done. Running, running, running. This one volunteer, I don't know her name. I've seen her before. We've ridden together. I know she rides with the social cycling. Cycling, every Thursday, they ride. They ride to different boroughs. And um, I have yet to go, which I really need to. Don't know her name, but she definitely was encouraging me. Like, yeah, oh, go ahead, go ahead. Like, when I saw her, I was like, yes, I'm, because she was like the halfway point. I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. Every time I saw her, like, but yeah, she was really encouraging. But all the volunteers were, so shout out to them. Then once it, that came almost to the uh, finish line, I was like, come on. I started picking up speed a little bit because I was like, you know what? I was, you know, I had slowed down. I was like, it doesn't matter. Then I was like, nah, forget this. Let's go, let's go. I ran so fast that I crossed the finish line and my phone, I have a little pocket on the shorts I'm wearing, and my phone came out. And one of the organizers was like, you dropped, you dropped something, you dropped your camera. And I thought he was like playing with me. I'm like, why? My camera's strapped to my chest. What are you talking about? It was my phone. Dropped my phone. But my phone still works, so <laughs> I was happy. My friend Jesse was at the finish, caught some photos and video of me thank you and then my mom was along the route taking photos and video of me I had to look at those because I don't know if she really got me <laughs> I don't know <laughs> she had her phone out I don't know I I looked at a couple videos and I'm like I don't even see me <laughs> I see I see <laughs> look at the rest of them but hey I, I appreciate it um yeah and then we finished Oh my gosh, man, I feel, I feel good. My legs feel slightly sore. So I have a massage gun and I'll, you know, use that, but, and I'll do some stretching, but I feel good. Ah, oh, man, seven weeks is done. Now what do I do? <laughs> I'm so used to, I'm, um, you know, waking up at five o'clock, you know, getting ready to go train now but i am do have to get ready for something i'm doing the new york city inline skate marathon which takes place in brooklyn new york at prospect park i'm doing a half marathon so that is at the end of next month then so that's on the 28th and then on the 29th i'm doing the twin lights uh bike new york bike ride in Jersey so that's that Sunday I'm only doing 30 miles then a month from then in October towards the end of October I'm doing the Florida inline skate marathon I'm doing a full marathon 26.2 miles in Sarasota Florida my first time in Sarasota Florida so I do have some I still have some training to do <laughs> So, yeah, maybe I'll start this week, next week, I don't know, maybe give myself a little rest and then get back to it. 
But thank you to everyone for the encouragement. I really appreciate it. Again, thank you to everyone who watched my Instagram stories, uh, my TikTok videos, YouTube reels. It was all the same. I just recycled. <laughs> it's all the same video. But whatever you watched it on, thank you. And thank you for listening, right? And just following along on this journey. I really, 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 really appreciate it. And it, it really helped me. Because there were some days where I'm like, why am I even doing this? Like, why am I recording these videos? No one really has to know that I'm, if I get up at 5 o'clock in the morning, if I don't. Or if I train, or if I did this this um this activity, no, like no one is really gonna know. But I made a commitment. I said I was gonna do the, this thing, right? I was gonna train, and I was gonna document it because it's easy. I said this before. It's easy to lay in the bed and be like, ah, I don't feel like it. I'm not gonna go today. I'll go tomorrow. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll do it later, and then later doesn't, it doesn't happen. But with me making the videos, with me talking about it and sharing it, it's like, okay, you said you're gonna do it. Do it. You know, when people start to encourage me, all right, Tasha, we're good. You got this. We're rooting for you. You could do it. I'm like, oh damn. I really have to do it. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. Thank you. Like, it might have been a different story if no one looked at anything, <laughs> liked anything. Then I would have been like, well, nobody's, nobody's even watching. But when people started like, ah, oh, you could do it. And I said, God dang. People who I didn't even think, they're like, all right, you got this, Tasia. Sending me a text message like, damn, you know I got to do this? <laughs> you know I'm doing this too? <laughs> then this morning, I'm not even gonna lie, I thought about this. I'm like, damn, I shouldn't have made those videos. <laughs> I shouldn't have put this out there. <laughs> because what if I don't finish, right? What if I, what if something happens and, you know, people are gonna ask me, like, hey, how was the duathlon? I'm, it was good, it was good. You know, when you're gonna post videos or your medal or something, ah, it's coming, it's coming. <laughs> That's what I was thinking about, like, damn, what if I don't finish? What if I can't do it? But I did it. Thank you. I kept going. And there we go. There we go. There we go. So yeah, that was uh, my Tay Short duathlon recap. Sorry, it's not so short. But um, like I said, uh, hopefully there's some footage on my GoPro that I can use and share and show. But thank you again. This is the Roller With Tate Podcast. I'm your host, Tasia, a.k.a. Tay. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Share if you care. Peace.